Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have the portion of our vintage petrol lighter collection that relates to my father. Many of you know I've talked about my father a lot on this channel. He was the most capable man that I've ever met. Changed out engines and transmissions in automobiles like I change out wicks, wadding, and flints in old petrol lighters. There just wasn't much that he couldn't figure out how to accomplish when it came to mechanics. Over the course of his life, he made a living at a few different jobs, all of which made good use of his mechanical acumen. Worked for the Schwab Meat Company when he was a young man before he entered the Army. And of course, entering the Army was perhaps when he acquired this lighter. This lighter is from the late 60s, early 70s, somewhere around in that period. And of course, I have a photo of the U.S. Army Jeep that he drove while he was stationed in Alaska. He was a driver during that time, or at least that was part of what he did up there. He talked about Kodiak Island. He talked about the different exercises and maneuvers that they went on up there. He told me stories about conversations that were had around the campfire with his fellow servicemen. And he was stationed in Alaska for somewhere around a year and a half, I believe, before we came back home in 1972, shortly after my brother was born. I would have been about two years old, somewhere in that neighborhood. I, of course, don't have any memories from back then. I do have some memories of some of the automobiles that you will see as this video progresses. We talked a little bit about the Crestcraft lighter, and as I said, this is a lighter that I believe he probably acquired right around that time when he was entering the service of the U.S. Army. These other two lighters belonged to him, and I don't believe that he had ever used them. When my mother gave them to me a few years ago, they were both unused, didn't appear as though the wicks had ever been soiled. They're decent working lighters, not finished all that great. The finish on them is pretty rough. And they say on the bottom, 14 karat gold plated made in USA. See the seam there around the edge? It's kind of a curious design of a lighter. But moving to these lighters that I have in honor of my father will allow us to also look at some more automobiles. This particular lighter says we've got it made and the Ford emblem And then Taipei 1962 introduction on the back. This particular lighter uh, has never been used. It does have some scuffing there on the windscreen from the lid closing down a little haphazardly. I'm not sure if that was like that before I got it or if I did that myself. This other Ford lighter is a Park Industries lighter that I just recently bought here within the last six months or so. And I know people like to make fun of Ford, Chevy guys, GM people, Dodge, whatever. My dad appreciated all kinds of automobiles, but he was definitely a Ford guy. The favorite automobile of his, hands down, the one he talked about more than any other, however, was not a Ford. It was a 1969 GTX that came from the factory with an option. It came standard with a 440 engine, but the Hemi was also available. 
He told me that he opted for the 440 because it came with a warranty. The Hemi was somewhat experimental at the time and did not come with a warranty. To talk about some of the Ford automobiles that he owned and really appreciated though, we would have to start with the 1964 Ford that he and my mother, and I guess I was with them as well, drove to Alaska when he was stationed up there in 1971. My mother could fill in some of these blanks for me, but she was certain that that 1964 Ford that they drove to Alaska was a Fairlane. But I am almost certain that it was a Galaxy. And from looking at the pictures, I believe that that engine you see was a 428 Cobra jet engine. You can see Cobra on the breather there. And any way around it, whether it was a Galaxy or a Fairlane, a really cool car, and one that got them all the way from Oklahoma City to Fairbanks, Alaska. There was also a 1963 Ford Galaxy, black, very nice looking car. It had a 427 engine in it. A 1969 Ford Torino. Now, I love those old Torinos and would have loved to have had one of these myself back in my teen years. I had a 1970 Mustang Fastback that my dad and I built together. And I don't regret having that car at all. We had a lot of fun building it. It was a really cool car to drive. But those Torinos, especially the Fastback variety of Torinos, was always one that really turned me on as far as automobiles went. He had two Ford Fairlanes. One was 1966 and one was 1967. I'm not sure which was which. One was red. The other was a silver tone color. The silver tone color he bought with my uncle, one of my uncles, the uncle that he did most of his racing with at the drag strip in Tulsa and apparently also in Oklahoma City. And the engine that they ended up building and putting in that motor was disassembled in the trunk of that silver Fairlane when they bought it from a salvage yard for a hundred dollars. The red one, which I'm not certain, but I think the red one was the 66. Uh, that was a driver. That was a regular car that he drove. And to assume that just because he was driving it on the legal streets meant that he wasn't drag racing it, I think would probably uh, be an error. <laughs> I think there's a good chance that he was drag racing just about everywhere he went. But really cool to see the time sheets from the drag strip. It's about three different locations looking at the sheets there where he drag raced the car and like I said he and my uncle built the car together I believe that both of them would sometimes drive it but my dad drove it most of the time from what I can remember my uncle was sort of a uh, savant type mechanic when it came to automobiles my dad was no slouch himself but I believe my uncle's involvement in the Enterprise was basically as a mechanic. There was also a 1969 Ranchero GT with a white vinyl top, sunburst stripe down the side, really cool Ford automobile that I would love to have today. It's just something about having a hot rod with a pickup truck bed on the back of it. Pretty nifty. And then just to throw it in there because it was a cool car, I told you that he appreciated all kinds of automobiles. He was definitely a Ford guy, no doubt about that. But his appreciation for automobiles went way deeper than that. Like I said, his 
1969 GTX with the 440 engine in it was without a doubt his favorite. But this Chevy Nova SS Super Sport was a pretty cool car as well. So I appreciate all of you that have asked over the course of the last few years when we would talk about my dad and his automobiles, when I would pull out one of these lighters and do a show and tell on it, and people would ask, why don't you do a video on some of your dad's old cars? So here it is. I'm sure I've gotten some years off here and there. I have probably gotten some engines wrong in the different automobiles that I listed off there. And that's something that my dad would have never done. Because all those years talking about automobiles, he would always, always was able just to spit out exactly what transmission, what engine, what kind of wheels, all the technical details about a vehicle, the ratio of the transmission and all that kind of stuff. When he was hit by the Huntington's disease and started to have trouble with memories, couldn't necessarily remember what had happened this morning. But that's one thing that he never lost was all the details about all those vehicles that he had built or driven when he was younger. So regardless of what errors I might have made identifying engines or automobiles in this video, I would appreciate your setting me straight. Like I said, I'm pretty sure that that first red Ford, the 64 Ford that my mom said was a Fairlane, I'm pretty sure that was a Galaxy, but I could be wrong. And I'd also like to take just a minute to explain or talk about this lighter. This one is in honor of my dad. My dad's name was Charles. Charles Duane. That's where I got my middle name. And this lighter is inscribed or engraved Jack. And I think of my dad every time I see it. Anybody who knew my father well, especially his family, if you ever saw him get pissed off, if you ever saw him that you thought, oh man, uh, he's about ready to fight somebody, I can guarantee you that he was using the word Jack. If my dad called you Jack, you better watch out. <laughs> he was... He was as mad as you could possibly imagine a man being, and he probably was not going to let it go, whatever it was. Until next time.